This YCN segment is brought to you by LaValle Building Supply and Middleton Building Supply. These teams know each other well, as last year, the Hilltoppers fell to the Red Hawks in the finals. CVU won their fifth straight D1 championship, but came into this game technically the underdogs, as St. John's Barry with the top seed hoped to end Champlain Union's reign. The game initially started off in the defending champ's favor, after junior Harper Meade knocked down the jumper. But then, the Hilltoppers' offense began to thrive. The team went on a 16-2 run just before the end of the first quarter. Juniors Sadie Stetson and Neva Bostick both put in points. And so did lone senior Kayla Matt, sinking a three. But the main scorer was sophomore Josie Schwarnier, who hit multiple long balls during the first eight minutes. CVU's freshman Kylie Lapete nailed her own three just before the quarter's end as St. John's Barry was up 16-7. In the second, Stetson began the scoring with a short jumper. However, both teams struggled to score. Red Hawk senior Shannon Lawasso sunk a shot, but turnovers were a problem for CVU. The Hilltoppers used even more points from Schwarnier and went up by 12 at the half with a score of 23-11. Coming out of the break, Loasso grabbed an offensive rebound and went back up for two. But soon, Schwarnier forced a steal and passed up the court to Bostic, who laid it in. Neva then used her dribbling skills to create space and drove to the hoop on back-to-back -back possessions. CVU did manage to have their best quarter offensively, but it still wasn't enough to cut into the lead. St. J. Stetson nailed her team's sixth three of the game just before the end of the third quarter as they went up 36 to 22. To begin the fourth quarter and final eight minutes of the season, Hilltoppers junior Selena Porter scored down low off an assist from Stetson and Porter would score again, sinking a jumper off an assist from Matt. Then, CVU sophomore Marin Askew started to get to the line where she didn't miss. Unfortunately for the defending champs, however, St. Johnsbury Schwarnier was also very effective at the charity strike. As the last few minutes ticked away, it was clear there was a new champion of Vermont's Division I girls basketball. St. Johnsbury had taken down the five-time reigning champs from Champlain Valley with a final score of 48-33. Schwanier easily led all scores with 23 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 steals, while teammate Stetson scored 10 with 4 assists, and Neva Bostic put in 8 points. The Hilltoppers shot a combined 49% from the field, compared to CVU's 31%. After the game, we spoke with Schwanier and Stetson to get their takes on the win. Uh, we just knew that we needed to come out hard in the first quarter because we've had so much motivation to get back here and this is the one game that we wanted back and this is where we wanted to be. So we just were hyping each other up and we were like, let's go, let's go, like we got this. And we just came out hard in the first quarter and I think that got our confidence up that we got up early. We just knew that we needed to play our game. We needed to box out like they couldn't have any second, second opportunities. We needed to close out on shooters and just all around play good defense and then get get going in transition and I think we executed that today. I think as a team we just played well like we knew this was our last game and we needed to come out hard and from the beginning we had a lot of heart today and we had a lot of confidence in each other and we knew we could do it and we came out today and we executed. Um, it's a great feeling. Um, I'm glad we got to rematch CVU and get this one game back because this is what we've been working towards and we've been working towards getting back to Patrick. I was just thinking about my team and coach and how hard we've worked to get here and we just knew like all together like as a team we needed to come out hard from the beginning. Our expectations are always the same. It's that we work hard, play well, be confident in each other, be positive and I think that we have the motivation we'll carry over to next year too. Uh, the keys to the game were definitely just don't let them get it down low. They have height on us. So we didn't want that, and we just had to come out strong and confident. We've gotten to slow starts here every other time we've been here. So, I mean, we didn't do that today. We came out confident, and we just trusted each other, and we just let it happen, and it all worked out. Well, everyone played really well. Everyone had their own part. Josie, she was on fire from outside. I mean, Selena did great on the big down low. Everyone just never was taking it to the hole. Just everyone played a huge part in the win. We didn't beat them last year, and it was great for us this year to beat them, and it just like helped us mentally and just 
I don't know, it's all just like, it hasn't really set in yet, I don't think. It's still crazy, but it just feels great. I don't know how to describe it. CVU falls to 21 and three overall on the season, while St. Johnsbury improves to 22 and two. The win marked the Hilltoppers' first state title since 2010, and they'll lose just one senior. So expect St. Jay's to be right back in finals contention in 2019.